My name is, uh, is uh, Captain Paul Bender, and uh, I served uh, during the Second World War in the uh, Merchant Navy. I was on one of the first sh ships that brought essential supplies into the port of Rotterdam uh, in uh, July of 1945. There was basically only one building standing, as I, as I remember. And, um, but the uh, materials that we bought, that we brought in, were building materials. And we also had a parcel of grain that, was, that came from Canada. I was born in uh, London, England. The youngest age to join the Merchant Navy is 16. I was just four days shy of my 16th birthday. And the people who were doing recruiting said that uh, four days away, that's close enough. Eight days after my 16th birthday, my ship struck a mine and uh, sank. I've heard different stories, but so far as I know, um, everybody was saved. On one trip, we had about 7,000 tons of explosives. You're sitting on that every hour and every minute of, of every day. Uh, in addition to that, of course, you have to encounter the uh, North Atlantic gales. One convoy that I was in, my ship was chosen to rescue um, members of a crew from another ship that was uh, uh, torpedoed, which was a bit of a harrowing experience. We carried a, uh, about a thousand tons of grain that we had loaded in St. John, New Brunswick. We opened up the, um, the covers of the uh, grain. The sun was shining on it and it was kind of glistening, almost like gold. I was amazed at the um, behavior of the Dutch people who I understand had been uh, living in very, very bad times because they jumped into the ship and they scooped up the grain in their hands and they watched the grain go down and everybody is crying. And uh, I was crying at 17 years of age. Uh, it's a picture that I will never forget. I stayed in the Merchant Navy for 10 years and then I transferred to the Royal Canadian Navy and then transferred to the uh, public service. And um, I was assigned to uh, NATO. Uh, in fact, we were planning for World War III, uh, which fortunately didn't come. Retired from the public service, but I took on um, uh, maritime consulting work with uh, Latin American countries for about 10 years. Uh, Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru. Then as a hobby, I bought a hundred acres of land and did some farming about which I knew absolutely nothing. That's it, I'm now 92 years old and uh, have had some health problems that go along with uh, the parts wearing out as we get older, but otherwise um, I'm very uh, I look back on what I've done and I think that what I've done has been of some use to somebody.